Okay, so today I'm going to show you uh, an 09 i7 2.8 gigahertz Core i7 with 12 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to show you this is in fact a standard hard drive. Um, it's not an SSD. And just going to kind of show you a couple tips. Uh, first, showing you what it is. And then just show you how to uh, target the disk in startup to help your boot up times. I think it's helped program launch times as well. But uh, at any rate, here you go into Preferences, you choose your startup disk, and then click on the OS X version and hit restart. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it right now, uh, but it did make quite a bit of difference. And then just to show you a couple load times, um, show iTunes, it takes a bounce, it pops up, probably fairly normal. Uh, I do have one other thing running, though I'm actually... <laughs> stabilizing a movie and iMovie right now. So we've got a couple things going on. So it's eating up some processing cores. Not sure how much that makes a difference, but I got about 10 minutes left here. So I'm not going to stop and uh, do that. But just to show you the capability with 12 gigs of RAM, what, what you gain. Um, here's Handbrake, um, VLC, and something, you know, back like Chrome. I mean, obviously internet speed has something to do with load times. But as you can see, Processor cores are running pretty good, and uh, I'll get this shut down here. Everything shut down I don't need. I've got to leave iMovie running. And get that closed. So here, once it's opened and I just rebooted, you pop it open again. Pretty much one hop, it's up. And this is with a about 125 gig iTunes library from movies to music and whatnot. And again, processors are still churning out that, so... That just kind of shows you a little bit about what I got going on and the speed if you throw in some RAM, which is a lot cheaper than SSD.